Hi everyone, today I would like to show you a quick view on how to connect Logitech M337 mouse on the iPad Air with the iOS 13.4. I initially planned to create this video on how to connect the Logitech M337 mouse through the assistive touch before the uh, upgrade to the iPadOS 13.4. Uh, so I was supposed to show you how to connect it and how the gestures are and how the icon looks like with this big round circle and how you click on the mouse as usual using regular clicks, left click, right click, and how it works with the gestures in the in the iPad there. And also to show like the icons, when you hover over it, some of it, it, it still shows the circle on how and, and how to point it, as well as the pointer styles where you could change it to different colors and change it to a different size. This is the only thing that has been removed uh, when it was uh, when I upgraded to the iPad OS 13.4 but other customizations on the on the buttons are still available. So today the iPad OS 13.4 has been released and now it comes with the mouse and trackpad support along with third-party Bluetooth devices. So now I'll show you how to connect the Logitech M337. In 13.4, all you need to do is turn on the Bluetooth, turn on your mouse and connect. And there it is. Here's the new cursor. You see it's different from the old version. So let's try to do some tests. I'm still getting used to the uh, gestures. It's, I might say, it's quite different from using it in the old um, assisted touch version. So as you see here, if I move up on the top right where you see the battery and the signal, if I scroll up to here and click and that will show then the control center and as you see it would uh, the cursor would disappear and blend into the the icons if you do a quick swipe then that will take you to the home screen and if you do it a bit slower and that will bring up the app switcher now swiping to the top left here and then that will show the notification swipe down and bring you back to the home screen again other thing i've noticed is that if you want to switch to apps like swiping at the corner it won't it doesn't do it but then you have to use your finger now sliding over to the right will bring up the slide over view, I believe that's how you call it. And as you, it also works when you scroll and click at the bottom and that will bring up other uh, apps that are, in, that are in the slide over view. Still, you can customize the buttons that you have on your mouse currently. I can use the left, right, and the scroll wheel. Uh, well, the scroll is, is behaving like as you as you uh, do when you swipe up or down on the screen with your finger. Um, but I can push it down to to do some some actions. But this one, this square box here, uh, I cannot manage to to set it up. But anyway, it's the same way to to change the customization, you have to turn on assistive touch to do it. And so you go to device and you select your device. And here you can still have the same customizations that you have for your buttons. 
Uh, let's have a quick look. You see, it's changing as what they, they have advertised. So, here as you see, it also changes the cursor. Ooh, depends on what you're doing. So if you move away, it becomes that circle. But when you want to type, it becomes the line. And same here, the highlight changes as well. So yeah, pretty cool. Again, if you want to go home, and since I have my shortcut set up to go home, so just press it here. And yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching.